referee checks his watch, blows his whistle, John Brooks, and we are underway in the League Cup. As the anthem here at Bramall Lane is played. Yeah. Ball through the middle, and here's an opportunity early on for Southampton. Shot towards goal, saved by Fodderingham. Bogle, he will control it here. It's a crossing opportunity, dinks it into the box, toe punted it into the middle there. Four. It's going to be Redmond who chips yeah. this one into the far post. It's a deep one, it's headed back across goal, but no danger. There's United coming again, wonderful play. Bogle across goal, Stevens with the chance, and Ender Stevens has scored. A fine start for Sheffield United, they were pushing and probing. It went across, it was nicely left for Ender Stevens and Sheffield United lead against Southampton in the cup. It is Sheffield United 1, Southampton 0. Here come United again, the team's up for it as well. Here's Njaye bursting through the middle. Slips it over towards Burke on the right. Burke's going to curl one, and he's going to curl that one high and wide. As he moves it over to Valerie again on the right-hand side, maybe not, they're attacking within three passes. And then uh, Robinson ran across there. He's only just a little wary of him, you know, given the way that he's played this season. Stevens has passed through the middle. McBurney, Stevens, great football from Sheffield United. Here's Burke, tries to get away from the last defender. It's Burke, and he just nudges it past the goalkeeper and across the face of goal. He's an option here with Teller, tries to play it to Valerie on the right. He's got away from Stevens. Here's a chance for Southampton. It comes across, but the attacker couldn't get there. Redmond's corner, he raises his right arm. Lifted in towards the far post, not the best delivery though. Let's say that as this uh, is a chance for Southampton to pass one from distance. Freeman goes on a run. He's got Burke in support. Moves it back across to Njai. Njai teases forward, edge of the box, beats his man, continues his run on the left, plays it across goal. But Bernie back to goal. Gidiola tries to place it in the top corner. Valerie with a little step over, tries to take on his man and then finds an option here. It's Teller. Teller does well, gets into the box, may think about a dig here, and it was almost the equaliser, he played it across. Big let off for Sheffield United, Southampton come again, cross comes in, Teller was there, everybody else forward for the team in yellow, cross comes in, and it's headed well over the bar. Southampton continued to attack, the ball is pushed back here to Romeo, who's in swinger, ends up in the bottom corner, and a cushioned header, and Southampton have the equalising goal through Ibrahima Diallo, it's 1-1. One, one. Southampton this time attacked down the, uh, the left-hand side in the shot at the near post. Now was that perhaps a foul too on McBurney from Salisu, but play continues with Ndai! Aligned the goal to bounce Nathan Teller. He injured his way to the corner of the box. Valerie now on the overlap, but well, Nathan Redmond takes the short corner. I'm sure there was a plan to that, but it broke down. Then the loose ball's picked up here by goal scorer Diallo. He shot through in those circumstances. So Redmond's corner into the box it goes. Breuer rising at the near post didn't make contact. One or two potential upsets on the cards with Stoke leading at Premier League Watford and QPR leading at Everton. In goes the cross. Fodringham comes for it, in it comes from Nathan Redmond, driven high to the back of the 18-yard box. Um, and here's Valerie, tied to the touchline, last action of the half, he'll try and drift past Njai, but it won't happen. So two changes for the Blades, one for the Saints in the third round of the Carabao Cup. Another great turn from McBurney, and he's away here, he needs a bit of support though. Brewster's in the middle, it's fed through to Brewster, Brewster tees it off to Osborne! Oh, it's saved somehow by Forster. Osborne takes the corner, plays it to the edge of the box and Norwood who crosses it in, headed away by Southampton, he gets into the box, continues his driving rock, plays it across towards Teller, oh it's come for Southampton man and Teller's shot hit Breuer who was offside, we've had seven minutes in the second half, but trying to get the board working again as this one's played into the box by Southampton, it's going to be hit right footer, decent ball in, headed away by Sheffield United, decent ball, here is Gineppo, it's got a over that runner here, it's crossed in by Perot, parried by Fodringer towards the penalty spot, headed away by United, shot driven in by Diallo, it's come off a Blades defender, corner shorts, Ward-Prowse back to the right-hand side, played Lin low, and there's the goal, and it is tapped in by Salisu at the near post, corner taken quickly, Sheffield United caught napping, and the Premier League side have turned it around here, and they lead 2-1, Ward-Prowse steps up, right-footed, good delivery, Fodringham dives and punches clear, Diallo back towards Romeu, and now here comes Southampton with that man Teller. His shot's blocked, it's hit the back of Robinson. Here comes the Southampton corner, Ward-Prowse clips it in, header comes in, and then Fodringham had to be alert. And as it's thrown forward, it breaks for Ward-Prowse, there's Romeu crossed towards centre-half. It's intercepted by Norwood, Southampton overplaying a bit themselves. Now here's McBurney, it's 2-2! Crossed in from the edge of the...
the box. Oli McBurney on the spot to get his first of the season. Nicely taken past Razor Forster. Sheffield United are back in this cup tie. Sheffield United 2, Southampton 2. Great looking ball by Norwood. There for Rian Brewster to chase. He's hit it some 50 yards. Here is Brewster zipping ball into the near post with this free kick from the near side the right pinged him right footed teasing here is Teller looking to his right hand side the deflected ball ends up with Jan Valery who shoots wildly now Sheffield United themselves looking to go 3-2 up and McBurney is rising and now a teasing ball into the middle and Boyer denied by a fabulous save from Wes Fodringham outstanding goalkeeping there driving it high Jan Valery out on the overlap Ender Stevens makes a telling touch he'll have to recover crowded penalty area as Ward Prowse hits the corner sliding to volley it away Ollie Norwood 2-2 then the current scoreline with uh, just over three minutes of normal time remaining in it comes into the penalty area Norwood virtually the first man Heads it clear, Armando Breuer leads that attack down the far side. Shea Adams awaits the cross, in it goes! League Cup tie, 2-2, Gineppo wins the block. On the edge of the penalty area, Gineppo's weaving his way through. And then he is challenged. In it comes from James Ward-Prowse at the near post. Powerful headed clearance by Jack Robinson. James Ward-Prowse with the corner, bent in right footed into the box. Went Fodringham comes, it's pinballing around in the penalty area. And then it's given away by Ben Osborne as he scurried clear with it. He'll get a second chance to clear, which he won't waste. Back it comes to Norwood. First time ball, right on the toe end of Osborne. Crossing position, flex rising. Oh, and Brewster can't get there. Awkward. The Blades and the Saints look to try and push for a winner before penalties. As the referee does indeed call full time at Bramall Lake. Excellent cup tie. And now penalties. So Southampton step up first in the shootout at Bramall Lane. Ward Prowse steps up and smashes it into the top corner, the top right hand corner. And it is Southampton who draw first blood. Southampton 1 0. And it's uh, Ollie Norwood. He's taking on Fraser Forster at the cop end. And he fires it in. The keeper dived the right way. But it is 1 1 in the shootout. And it is Shea Adams who is next for Southampton to try and put Southampton 2-1 ahead in the shootout. Shea Adams steps up and he sauntered forward and very casually just smashed it into the bottom corner and Fodderingham guessed the right way but he couldn't keep it out. It is 2-1 to Southampton. The ball is spotted underneath the cop and then here Brewster steadying himself take a moment a nonchalant stuttered run up and his shot is saved Forster dived the right way it was hit with venom but it was hit low and it didn't beat the keeper and all of a sudden it's advantage Southampton so Southampton now with a chance to take a 3-1 lead Fodderingham stands tall and it's saved it was a save from Breuer's penalty I think Fodderingham just got something on it to tip it onto the bar and Southampton squander the chance to take a 3-1 lead. Well, now it's down to Ben Osborne. Can he fire in from the spot? He steps up left-footed. Oh, beautiful penalty. Keeper did dive the wrong way on this occasion as the ball flew into the roof of the net. 2-2. Diallo for Southampton. And he places it again very casually. Stepped up to the football. And Fodergan guessed the right way, but he couldn't keep it out. It is 3-2 to Southampton. McBurney then, he steps up right-footed, and that too is saved, and Fraser Foster yet again denies Sheffield United from the spot, and Southampton need one more, and they'll be heading through. And now Southampton with a chance to book their place in the last 16. Romeu steps forward, if he scores, Southampton are through. He will place it and he takes it confidently and scores and Southampton move on to round four and will be in the last 16 in October.